Don't be scared of selling certain VHS tapes on Amazon FBA. <laughs> Shh, mama, mama, mama. I say certain ones because clearly you should not be sending in all VHS tapes. There's a reason that we have DVDs and Blu-rays and digital movies, etc. Uh, there's a reason why people don't use VHS tapes, right? Quality and that sort of thing. But there are specific types of tapes that sell really well. Now, the reason I'm bringing up this topic <clears throat> is because there was a, uh, a posting in a Facebook page where they were talking about selling VHS tapes and there were a fair amount of people that were saying they, were, they tried it, didn't work, so they got rid of the VHS tapes or they take too long to sell, and that sort of thing. So there's some truth to what they said, but also some of what they're saying is just not reality. So this is kind of got under my skin a little bit because based upon my experience, just to tell you how my VHS sales have been, in February, I made seven VHS sales, right? Which might not seem like a lot, but that's seven more sales. And four so far in March, now, it's only the 6th of March, and I made four. So that's a pretty good start, I would say. Even if I only sell a couple more for the month, uh, I'm happy to sell seven, eight, nine, ten VHS tapes for the month. Remember, I don't have a ton of VHS tapes in. I probably have, honestly, I don't know the number, uh, but it's probably, I mean, if I have a hundred in, maybe a hundred, maybe a little bit more than a hundred, probably a little bit more, maybe like 150. I'm guessing here, I don't know exactly. I'd have to do some research. But uh, it's not, I don't have 500 tapes in, I don't have 800, I don't have 1,000, I don't have 2,000, I don't have a ton. Even though my, my storage is 10,000, if I were to come across, you know, 500 awesome VHS tapes that I know are gonna sell, I would send them in, you know, and I would be selling many more a month. So this is not my bread and butter. This is not the main thrust of my FBA business. Books are, but VHS tapes as well as CDs are a great diversifier and uh, add more money and more sales to my ongoing business. When I look through the sales in February and so far in March for VHS tapes, I find a bit of a pattern. So here's what I see. So the first one was I actually sold a tie bow tape, which was... Um, it was a package of three Tybo tapes and I found it new, still in the, in the shrink wrap. And that actually sold for $17. Um, so that's workout, right? And then I got McGee and Me cartoon. And then the next one was Child's Play, which was a horror movie, a Chucky movie. Uh, and then another, uh, cartoon, Dora the Explorer was the next one, Blue's Clues, Muppets, Sesame Street, and then there was a horror one called Scariest Places on Earth, uh, and then Blue's Clues, and then, yes, ja 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 Jazzercise. Judy Shepard Massette's Jazzercise from way back in the day, decades ago. And that one, guys, was one of my highest selling VHSs. It, it sold for $34.95, and the Scariest Places on Earth sold for $29.95. So had a $14.95 sale. $11.95, $14.95, and the rest were around $10. So, you know, this isn't uh, peanuts here. I'm talking about good sales for VHS tapes, and there's a reason for that. And that's a big reason why you should get into VHS if you're interested. Again, if it's something that interests you, you need to have a v uh, VCR, and I recommend that you check the tapes to make sure that they're working, that sort of thing. So it's up to you whether you want to do it or not, whether it's something that interests you, but if you like it, or if it's interesting, or if you find a lot of VHS tapes, then I recommend getting into it and diversifying. People were saying that VHS tapes, they take too long to sell. It's not worth it. Yes, if you're sending in the wrong VHS tapes, and this took me time to figure out what are the categories that sell the best for me and what I find. So kids, number one by far is kids. Number two, exercise. Number three, horror. Those are the ones, right? There's other random ones that I might sell, but basically kids, number one. Probably 90% of the VHS tapes I sell are kids related, kids programming, exercising, and horror movies or horror genre cult kind of stuff. So those are the ones that sell for me. And if you're trying to send in popular movies or, or VHS tapes that are already, that are on DVD 
and they're selling for cheap or they're selling a ton on DVD or downloading, instant download through Amazon, that sort of thing, then it's not a good idea to send it in. It's highly unlikely that VHS tapes are gonna sell. You're not gonna sell Forrest Gump on VHS tape, okay? It's not, you know, you're not gonna sell Die Hard. It's not gonna happen. Uh, so stay away from most of the movies unless it's like a horror movie or maybe a sci-fi movie, some sort of cult movie that never made it onto DVD. That's the key. There's certain parameters for selling VHS tapes successfully and consistently. When someone says, oh, they take too long to sell, yes. VHS tapes in general, I found, take a little bit longer. If you're sending in tapes that, that are higher rank or that don't sell as often, but there are VHS tapes like kids, a lot of the kids tapes that sell pretty quickly, like the Blues Clues, uh, like Sesame Street, like Muppets and others that will sell pretty quick within a few months. Uh, and if you're sending in a lot of them, they're gonna sell consistently like they are for me. And I'm finding them pretty consistently out there. You know, people get rid of VHS tapes because they figure no one wants them. They don't want, they no longer use, uh, watch VHS tapes. They don't have a VCR. Uh, they just do DVDs. They just do Netflix, etc. online, YouTube, whatever. So these tapes are ending up at the thrift stores and at estate sales and at yard sales. So to focus back in here, they said that VHS, you know, people were saying VHS tapes don't sell, they take too long. And then someone else was talking about that they're, it's an obsolete technology and it's slowly gonna disappear. And all of those are just not true entirely, right? There are definitely, most VHS tapes will not sell on Amazon. Most won't, but certain ones will. There's other categories that, that can sell like certain documentaries. And also another one, are live events, live events, whether they're concerts, whether it's uh, some any sort of performance, right? It can be kids too. I've sold kids live performance tapes as well. Uh, it could be some concert from somebody. It could be a choir. It could be famous singer. Uh, it's just, you know, it depends. But live events also, because a lot of times those did not make it on DVD. There's nowhere else to find them. That's the big one. Is the VHS tape the only option there's no dvd there's no streaming option or digital option then that's that's a good indicator that the vhs tape is is worth looking at and possibly worth sending in and trying to sell so clearly the vhs tapes the, the technology is clearly old and obsolete in the sense of uh hardly anyone uses it uh, and it's no longer being sold. There's no v new VCRs being sold, no VHS tapes being sold. Um, so, you know, you go, to, you, go to, you go to Target, you go to Best Buy, you go to wherever there's a ton of movies being sold, and it's Blu-ray, it's DVD. Yes, it's obsolete, but it's not erased. It's not out of the conversation, because there's just certain things that are only VHS, and believe it or not, a lot of people still have VCRs. You go to thrift stores, you find a ton of VCRs and a ton of VHS tapes. Uh, and that's because people are getting rid of them, but if people want certain kids' programs for their kids, they're gonna have to buy it on tape. They're gonna have to do it. So slowly, over the deck, in the next few decades, or who knows how long, uh, all of these VHS tapes will be um, sort of gotten rid of by baby boomers who are going into their storage and getting rid of the stuff that they had for their kids and that sort of thing. It's gonna get out there, it's, it's, but it's gonna take years. So I feel like take advantage of it uh, while it's still there, you know? There's plenty of tapes to sell, so don't be scared of selling VHS tapes, but only in certain ones that make sense. So again, you gotta look at sales rank, you gotta look at Camel, 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 is it selling regularly? Uh, do they have reviews? Are there any? other formats available. If DVD's out there, then it's likely that it's not gonna sell very quickly or you probably shouldn't sell it. But I've also sold, I sold a Star a Star Wars movie on VHS, so you never know. But by and large, it should be only available on VHS. That's probably the best option. Uh, that's probably the best, that's probably the best scenario. Again, this was all based on my experience and trial and error, right? Uh, it took me a while to figure it out and buy the ones that made sense and are gonna actually sell. You can have consistent VHS sales every month, every, well, at least every month, uh, if you're picking the right ones. So, so don't, don't take bad advice from people, right? That don't know what they're talking about when it comes to VHS tapes. Yes, it's obsolete. Yes, by and large, most VHS tapes take a long time to sell or may never sell. But those are the ones you shouldn't be sending in. So don't listen to people that don't know what they're talking about. I'm willing to bet that VHS tapes they sent in 
message were not the right ones to send in. No wonder they sat, right? There's not a demand. It makes sense, right? The reason that kids stuff is selling is because parents will do anything. Number one, parents will do whatever it takes to, to share things with their kids, right? No matter how much money, uh, no matter how much they have to look for it. Number two, it has to be a, a passion, right? Or uh, some sort of passionate following. That's why these cult horror movies, that's why these exercise things, so that's why the kid stuff, it's not just about sharing, it's not just about sharing something with your kid, but it's about sharing something that you saw as a kid, right? So it's nostalgia. So you get to see your kid watching it and enjoying it, but at the same time, you get to relive your childhood. Uh, so that's part of why a lot of this kid's VHS tape sell. So there's gotta be a passion, there's gotta be something really motivating them behind it. You know, it's in the same vein of, you know, do what you love, that sort of thing, a passion, a hobby. So if, if someone is really loves science fiction or really loves horror movies or remembers, you know, Jane Fonda and her workouts and wants to relive it now that they're 30 years older, whatever it may be, or they may want to do it with their kids or who knows what. Uh, but those are some of the things that fuel people to, to buy VHS tapes in addition to there not being any other option. So they need, they need to have a VCR and you go get one uh, and, you know, to be able to buy the VHS tapes. But... There's still VCRs out there. So when you see VHS tapes, make sure and follow the parameter. What is the topic? Is it is it only available on VHS? Uh, is it selling with some frequency? Is it a decent price? Of course, I didn't talk about price. Of course, you gotta sell for, I usually like to do it $10 and up. Maybe I'll sell for $8.95 because usually I get these for 50 cents or less. VHS tapes are not that expensive. Rarely do people want a dollar for VHS tapes. Usually it's 50 cents or less. Keep those things in mind and don't always take people's advice. They might not know what they're talking about. Get out there, find those VHS tapes, and remember, keep booking.